Okay, so my psychedelic trip started with LSD. A friend of mine sent me a fake version of LSD through the post one day and I tried it and it had the same effects as normal LSD. And that was the moment where I went vegan after that LSD trip because you know, I don't know why the cow was on my light bulb, um, but it said, please don't eat me. I was like, okay, I'm not going to eat you. Worst decision I ever made. But the LSD, I think personally, LSD is something that shows you more about yourself than anything else it's like people trip about different things on lsd they we all kind of see the same things but i think it shows you the true side of yourself so lsd was a it was okay it opened my mind it made my music a lot better but in terms of my mental health it didn't do anything in fact it probably made things worse because it made me feel more isolated as a person in society so the lsd trips were fun they made me make really great music but, um, and they opened my mind a lot. They made me see that, okay, what is in front of us isn't just what's in front of us. Um, very, very beautiful trips, um, very mind opening for sure. And then after LSD, I tried um, DMT. Uh, so I went through DMT experiences and, you know, DMT, they say DMT is like what we have and what plants have in our bodies. So that when you die or something, that's what gets released. So the DMT trips were a lot more eye-opening because I was seeing actually into other dimensions and you know it, with my eyes closed it, it basically felt like home. So it's like the DMT trips it's like I got to visit home. Um and then the ayahuasca I didn't actually get to try the ayahuasca. That was when I was here and well I'm still here in Mexico. Me and my husband came across somebody who had some ayahuasca in their home and um, asked us if we wanted to do it. But unfortunately, we didn't have enough money because it cost around two, two to three thousand dollars that we just don't have. We just opened the business and things are still up and like getting up and running. So we couldn't afford it. And the only reason I decided to do the ayahuasca is because my marriage was about to end. My marriage was about to like it, we was on the edge because of me, um, because of the issues that we had and all of my splitting and hating him. And so I thought that ayahuasca would be able to fix things. So before starting, well, it was around the same time as starting Carnivore, actually, I said, OK, let's try ayahuasca as a last resort. But the person said um, that it cost that much. So we said we're not going to do it. But um, I, I, I now personally feel like my it. Carnivore has put my faith into question about spirituality and everything because I used to be so convinced that it was something spiritual I used to be convinced that there was just something wrong with me and I needed to find peace and at this point I'm looking at all of these gurus like sad guru um I don't even I can't even bring their names off the head now but I'm like all these people are trying to sell people the happiness that I've got now the happiness that I found from eating the animals that even these gurus are telling people to not eat so my whole faith is in question now not that I'm an atheist I know there's something bigger that something bigger than us but now all of the gurus I've ever listened to all of the books I've ever read they've just it's like become relevant to me because it was the meat that fixed some kind of serotonin dopamine neurons in my brain and it wasn't the meditation it wasn't the sub the subconscious reprogramming it wasn't any of that it was the food I was eating and if somebody would have told me this 10 years ago instead of blah blah blahing about be here and be now then I might have been able to to be a lot more productive in my life and be a lot further than I am now but everything for a reason so I guess I am where I'm meant to be but my whole faith question so the psychedelics yeah they helped me they helped me open my mind and see things from in different realms and different dimensions and just know that this isn't all that we are but uh, mentally it didn't help me mentally it kind of probably made me worse because when you know more and you don't know what to actually do with it and you know you've got all this intelligence and you don't really know how to uh, apply it it's really hard especially dealing with a mental an existing mental health issue like bipolar or borderline disorder you've got all of this knowledge and all of this what comes with the psychedelics but you can't even implement it because you're still you know all over the place mentally